So I sent these headsets in the mail to try out and give you some feedback. So I have two here and they talk to each other. And then they also come with this handy charger and a battery for each headset. This charger does come with a USB-C to USB, um, but you have to provide your own charging block. So that's one thing to keep in mind. So in order to put the battery in, there's this little lever here that you pull down and pops this out. And then you take the battery, slide it in with the pin side facing down, just like this. And then once that's in, you push this down and snaps in place. And now it is ready to go. So in order to use it, you're gonna flip this down. You can pull these in and out to adjust where you want to sit on your head. You have all the control buttons right here. Um, so volume up and down, A and B. And then on the bottom, you have the ability to put a additional headset into it and turn it on and off. So if I wanna turn it on and off, turn it on to talk to someone and then I'm able to put it on my head and you can see it's flashing green so I could do the same for the other one get that turned off it's the same thing push that lever down or pull that lever down however you want to look at it slide the battery in and if it's not turning on make sure you charge the batteries before you use it um, or you could have the battery in upside down so just make sure you check that as well so I'm gonna flip that down so on this, um, on both of the headsets too, you also have a USB in port as well. So I'm gonna turn that on, then that's flashing, turn this on. And now we are ready to talk. So these headphones will last 24 hours on one charge. It takes about two and a half hours to recharge. And the really cool thing is I could go up to 1200 feet in distance. Uh, which is about two point, uh, sorry, is about 0.22 of a mile. So it could be much, much further than she's standing there. And you could still talk back and forth to each other. So one idea I have for using these is when we're filming car shoots and we have one car as the camera car and one car as the car on camera, being able to talk to each other back and forth without having to use a walkie talkie um, is a really great idea because then you're hands free you're able to hang out of the vehicle, get a bunch of really cool shots or drive and be completely hands-free and not have to worry about grabbing a walkie-talkie, talking into it. Um, and it's just a constant on all the time. So as you're communicating back and forth, uh, the only kind of downside I can see to this is you can't have any background noise or you're just gonna get streamed in and in for the whole time. So they're super handy, um, definitely really good in certain scenarios.